So during pregnancy, uh, the muscles in the mother uh, get really stretched as the baby is growing. And that's, of course, a lot of hormones are flowing in your body, which uh, soften the muscles and really uh, get them to stretch out. And it's not always natural or, 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 or uh, uh, automatic for the muscle to shorten again and, and, and recoil back once pregnancy uh, is finished and, and baby's uh, been delivered. And it can take months and months and months, but for some mothers, they end up with uh, lax muscles. Uh, also, what can happen as well is the rectus muscles, which are normally the muscles in the middle here. With the pregnancy, not only do they stretch, but also in between them, they can separate like this. And that's what we call a rectus diastasis. And for a lot of mothers, after the baby is born, the muscle can get back into shape, but the gap doesn't go back. So the muscle remains separate. It doesn't, doesn't stick back together like it was before. So you have what's called a rectus diastasis. And this can give rise to what was typically known as, you know, a, a post baby belly or saggy belly. Uh, and, and unfortunately, a, a lot of mums um, can uh, uh, experience this. It's not a dangerous condition. Uh, it can, however, lead to uh, back pain uh, because if the muscles in your core are not together, they're not working effectively or efficiently, and that puts extra strain on your back muscles. Also, cosmetically, it can give to a little bit of pouching uh, in the contour of the of the tummy. Uh, now, the good news is we can actually uh, treat this. Um, the first thing to try, of course, is is non surgical surgical options with a physiotherapist, etc., and exercise training. But unfortunately, it's very hard for the muscles to get back to in the middle again, the, to, or to, for the gap to close with exercise. So there is an option we can use with uh, keyhole surgery to basically stitch the muscles from the inside back together and get them again back in the natural position again. And that can uh, improve to an extent the, the cosmetic effect. So the stomach becomes, instead of being round, it becomes more flat. And also uh, it will improve the function of the muscle and you will find that the uh, uh, if muscles work more effectively and more efficiently with uh, reduced uh, uh, back pain. So I think for most mothers, they should give themselves, I would say at least a year to see if the, uh, you know, if they're, uh, uh, stomach muscles will go back to its natural uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, formation and contour. But if after a year, uh, the problem is still there, then they should probably, you know, seek seek help for this. Uh, of course, uh, we find that uh, uh, mothers who've had bigger babies, uh, the problem tends to be worse. So heavier babies, twins, uh, this can uh, lead to, you know, seeing this uh, problem more often. And also, of course, multiple pregnancies, uh, so the more babies you have, you have a more a greater chance of developing uh, the the uh, uh, post baby belly or rectus diastasis, as it's known. So, um, like, a, if it'll go away naturally, it it will improve certainly with exercising and uh, you know doing core strengthening, uh, muscle building. But, but for some women, uh, you know, that doesn't work and they're still left with this problem and that's when they should seek medical help. So after pregnancy, if you have a saggy belly, then probably uh, getting some core exercises going will, will help. Uh, but if it doesn't help, in the you know, over a period of months and it's bothering you, then please seek uh, medical help. We can certainly help with this through a uh, keyhole option, which takes about 30 to 40 minutes to stitch the muscles back together in the middle.